Mr. Speaker, this past week, Iran has launched a direct, aggressive, unprovoked attack on our ally Israel. I was on the ground in Israel less than two weeks ago with a group of 18 of my colleagues to hear from Israeli police, soldiers, and officials about the importance of the United States partnership. This Israel defends itself in their war against Hamas, Iran, and other proxy terrorists. The U.S.-Israel friendship is more crucial than ever. I met with families of hostages and visited sites of the October 7th attacks, one of the most impactful parts of my visit. We have seen the names, the numbers, the footage, but when you meet the families who lost loved ones or visit with them, like we did this week, it is even more gut-wrenching. We also met with several Israeli officials, including Prime Minister Netanyahu and President Herzog. 193 days. That's how long the Israeli hostages have been held by Hamas terrorists. In Israel, I spoke with the families of the hostages. For months, these families have agonized over not knowing the status of their loved ones. As a parent myself, it's an unimaginable pain. We must stand in solidarity with Israel and bring every hostage home now. It was a so, it's a sober moment, a somber moment, but incredibly impactful visit and only reinforced my support for our friends in Israel. Then six days after I returned, Iran launched an attack on our ally Israel. Over the weekend, Iran launched an attack on Israel that included the use of 185 drones, 110 surface-to-surface -surface missiles, and 36 cruise missiles. Despite the scale, this attack was rendered unsuccessful due to Israel's military air defense and their partnership with the United States. I am now more than ever going to continue to protect the U.S.-Israel relationship. I am proud to co-sponsor one of the Israel Security Supplemental Appropriation Act. This body must act now. We need to come together to support our ally. Time is of the essence. I urge my colleagues to stand united Gentlemen, on this issue expired. immediately.